How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Big Fat Lies show. I'm so excited about today's Big Fat Lie. We are going to have so much freaking fun today. So, so much freaking fun. So, if your boundaries and your standards need a big, bold, irreverent refresher, you are in the right place. You're going to want to join me live today if you're listening on the network because uh, I have so much joy for you today. So, so much joy today. And so today is all about setting high standards and how to set high standards for yourself, for your life, for your love interests, for your business, for your financial flows, for your physical being, for your spiritual being. If you're like, wow, I don't think I have high standards or maybe one of those places you're missing out on high standards, then today is going to be a really great day for you to listen to the whole show, to join me live in the studio, if possible, if you're listening live on the app today, today's the day you're going to want to join me live. And so today's show is called How to Have High Standards and Attract High Quality. Well, why? Why? Because I find that the people who love the most and offer the most to the planet need to have high standards for themselves and for the people around them so that they can stop being disappointed by people who don't meet them. And how can you do that in a way that's clear, unambiguous, and sets high, shiny, polished? standard boundaries for the people coming in so that they can meet them and so why do you need to have that because we know that the universe is a binary system so the frequency that you are emitting is the frequency that will come back to you and so when you program the frequency with your expectations then the frequency will bring you more of that. And so you're probably not new to that how to program the universe kind of thing. And if you are, if all of this goes over your head and I just managed to have you have a smile on your face at the end of the 55 minutes, then that's just freaking great. That's great. That's all that we need. You know, so what is Big Fat Lies about? Well, Big Fat Lies is all about the big fat lies that you have installed on your energetic operating system that are stopping you from being so happy, so healthy, and so wealthy in every area of your life. Now, what makes me uniquely qualified to facilitate this type of information? Well, I have been a lifelong psychic and intuitive, and I've also spent a ton of years in business and wealth, finance, real estate, and I've also done a ton of consciousness studies. I took my first development, self-development course at like 16 years of age with people who are like 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. And so it's been quite a while since I was 16 years old and I've been a seeker the whole time. And so what's important to me is that you have this information. And I have so many stories today, so many stories today, because I've tried so many different things in business. So ages ago, uh, you know, I know all of these healing modalities. I've been taught all of these healing modalities. And so ages ago, I tried to be like, ooh, I'll do this healing modality and, you know, it'll be $97 a session or $197 or $297 a session. And, you know, it was so interesting. Sometimes it would work and most of the time it didn't. So the people 
you know, around me were doing these sessions for like, uh, like $97 for a session. And so I tried 97 and then I heard like, okay, well, if it's not working, like maybe you need to raise your prices. And so then I moved to 197 and more people chose it. And then it started to slow down again. And then, so I moved to 297 and I got more clients. And so, you know, from a monetary standpoint, like maybe at that point, my standards were not high enough for what people were paying me. And it's so funny, just recently, I've been playing around on TikTok and making videos on TikTok. And I'd really love to start doing some like readings on TikTok because I love readings. I get just like so jacked by them. You know, I have dozens of different modalities that I do. If I'm working with you one on one, I use any and all of them. And then in group, we tend to have like a particular modality that we're using in the group sessions or, you know, like it's all under the same umbrella. So if you TikTok, I would love to connect you to you and with you on TikTok at Jennifer Kramer Lewis. You can find me there. And um, yeah, because there's some psychics that I follow and I just love their work and I can see myself doing way more of that kind of stuff on TikTok just for fun and awareness of, you know, who I am, what I do, what I stand for, because I think it's so important to really check somebody out from an energetic point of view before you start to work with them. And so one really great way to do that is to either show up to their show here on Inspired Choices Network. We have a ton of different gifted people. And so listening to my show is going to give you a ton of information about me, you know, like how I talk, what I do, Um, you know, like, it's so funny, like I laugh a lot. And I find, you know, if people need me to be serious, if they need to work with someone who's very serious, then I'm not for you. Seriousness, actually, if you look at my human design chart, in my gene keys chart, seriousness is a shadow for me. So everywhere I get stone cold serious is a place where I'm not being myself. And so it's so interesting. Like I just, I really love it because I get so much feedback from people over and over. They're like, oh, Jennifer, when you laugh, you make all my troubles go away. Everything that I thought was serious and then you laughed and it just all went away. And I think that that's something really important to pay attention to is does the frequency of who you're learning from or who you're listening to or who you're surrounding yourself with match the frequency of where you're going. You know, just for example, say, you know, you're living in okay accommodations and you've managed to make it a home, but it's not spacious enough for you. It doesn't have a view. It doesn't maybe have a fireplace or a bathtub. You know, I mean, all of the things that creature comforts that your body would like, if this place doesn't have that, then One of the ways that I would recommend that you start to raise your standard is in your primary place, your primary place. So, you know, if you're at work a lot of the time and you have your own private office, then what does your private office look like? You know, it was interesting. I worked in an office and nobody had you know, I mean, maybe a plant or two, but nobody had actually personalized their own office with like art and pillows on the chairs and, you know, a really nice plant in a beautiful pot. And, you know, for me, I like the air moving. And so, you know, like a fan to move the air around. I did actually have beautiful windows. They didn't really look out on anything special, but they let in a bunch of sunshine, which was very, very helpful for me. So thinking about you know, your immediate surroundings, does it match the frequency of where you're going with your standards? And so like being super clear, is this important to you to have surroundings that are meeting your high standards or your new high standards that you're going to grow into? So one of the ways of knowing that is to start to listen, start to listen. 
And so what are we listening to? We're actually listening to the words coming out of our own mouth. <laughs> so instead of listening to the other people, you need to start listening to yourself, the words coming out of your own mouth. How much are you complaining? How much are you complaining? And even like maybe is complaining a language that you are using to connect with other people. It's like, ooh, you know, my house is drafty or my office is not fun. I don't like the way it looks. It's always disorganized. I don't have enough room. Or maybe your primary residence, you know, like where you live. What does your bedroom look like? Do you have a beautiful bed? Do you have beautiful covers on your bed? Are you actually proud? Like if you invited someone into your bedroom, would you be proud of what it looked like? Or is, does it actually meet the standards the high standards that you would like to have. Is this your dream bedroom? Is this your dream residence? Now, I'm not recommending that you run out and put a bunch of stuff on credit cards to meet this high standards, but be aware that when you have a beautiful bedroom, when you have a beautiful residence, your body is upgrading with those surroundings. And so you become resonant at your heart level with higher quality things, with higher quality living. Does that make sense to you guys? So if you're listening to this, I want to hear a make sense in the chat or uh, I get it or absolutely wherever you are. And maybe actually let me know, like, is it your bedroom? Is it your residence? Is it your office space that needs to be more high quality for you or in a higher frequency? Let me know. I've got just bought new bed sheets after the show when we talked about our beds, $300 sheets for 80 bucks. I love them. Yeah. So it could be even just for example, like this chair, I wanted a pink chair for my show. And so what happened was my body told me to go on to Facebook marketplace to look for a pink chair. And it turned out that this chair belongs to a friend of mine. And so her husband just brought it over and gave it to me. So it doesn't even need to be um, expensive to meet the quality that you would like to have. And I ended up buying this beautiful um, rug to, whoops, it's falling apart. I ended up buying this beautiful rug to put on the chair. And um, so that a little bit expensive, but it's, it's, I feel gorgeous. I feel glorious with my new chair. And so thinking about that for yourself, the antidote is, to really remember that there is an ebb and a flow in how you live your life. And so sometimes when your life isn't needed, expectations aren't showing up, what I'm going to remind you is when things get uncomfortable, it's giving you the information that you need to change them. So when you're like, mm, I really don't like it, and you feel the urge to complain, I would recommend that you don't. But when you feel the urge to complain, then listen to what's coming out of your mouth, because those are the clues to what needs to change for you to be able to raise your vibration in order to be able to meet those new high standards that you are growing into. Let me know if that makes sense. That's the antidote is that your life moves in waves. And so if the wave is going into a place where you're like, hmm, this is uncomfortable. I don't enjoy this anymore. Then listen to what you're not enjoying. Just listen and don't be mad at yourself. Just, just like it's natural to have these sort of waves where you're not enjoying stuff. But listen, listen to you and what you have to say to you about what you're not enjoying. So that's tip number one. 
listen. And so for the rest of my five tips on how to have high standards, where to look for high standards, you are going to want to join me after the break. This is the Big Fat Lies Show. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and we are on Inspired Choices Network. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Welcome back, you guys. This is the Big Fat Lies show. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness. So we are talking about how to raise your standards and how raising your standards in life, in business, just is the most important thing that I need you to do right now. And why do we need to raise our standards? Well, in the previous segment, I was talking about how like trying to do low standards actually gives you more of the same results for life. You know, like, do you guys get that? Like lower standards, lowering your standards gives you low standard results. And it just really ends up bringing you more of what you don't want. Does that make sense? It brings you more of what you don't want. And so in the previous segment, we were talking about how You know, just like how frustrating it can be to not have the results that we would like to have showing up for ourselves. And so in this next tip, I want to talk to you about balancing your career, your home life, your energy, and your energy flows that are going out on any of those things need to actually come back to you. You guys get that? that your energy needs to come back to you. And so, you know, thinking about, oh, well, you know, my clients, I give everything for my clients, I hear people say, or, you know, I give everything for my family, I hear people say. And it's way less often that I hear people say, oh, well, I'm making my physical being a priority or I'm making my spiritual being a priority and giving themselves a nice, long time for them to make those things a priority like how cool would that be you guys how cool would it be for you to make all of those things a priority for you yes make your career a priority yes make your family a priority yes make your body a priority make your spirit a priority so important so important to balance those things right and so does it always work no are you going to be perfect at it no but thinking about it like what part of your life 
like if there were five things that you were trying to balance, which are like your career, your home life, your relationships, your body, and your spirit. So if those were the five legs of your very sturdy chair that you were sitting on, what part would you say is eating the most of your attention and it may not be giving you those high standard results that you would like to be receiving. So wherever you are, I want to see that in the chat room. Uh, like what are the high standard results that you could be receiving that you're just not receiving? Go ahead and type that in the chat wherever you are. Because here's the antidote. It's actually the energy of sunshine. <laughs> Isn't that fun? The energy of sunshine. Like, for me, sunshine is like, the sun is always on, whether we can see it or not. It's always warming the planet, whether we can see it or not. It's always there. It's always available for you. And so when you think about, like, you might be looking in the wrong direction. If you're not receiving these high quality, high standard results, like are you looking too much at your career and not enough at your physical being? Are you like making sure that all of the relationships in your life are well looked after and well loved, but not actually receiving enough love into your physical being, into your heart, into what makes you feel loved? Because how cool would that be? If you were, how cool would that be, you guys? And it's so, so important to me that you do feel happy, you do feel healthy, and you do feel wealthy. Because here's the thing, when women feel happy, healthy, and wealthy, other women are the beneficiaries of that. Other women are the beneficiaries of you being happy, healthy, and wealthy. Obviously, your lover is going to be the beneficiary of that. Your children are going to be the beneficiaries. Your friends are going to be the beneficiaries. But your high standards are going to be the thing that creates higher quality results. You guys get that? Your high standards are going to be the thing that creates high quality results. And I think that that's so, so important to bring in the energy of the sun, like shine your light and also be aware, like, where is the light not shining? Like, do you get that? Like, there will be parts of your life where it's like, mm, the light's not shining over there. You might not even want to look over there. And I think that that's really important to notice the places and spaces that you don't want to look. So tip number two is to start to balance those, say, five areas of your life, which is your career, your home life, your relationships, your physical being, and your spiritual being. Because I'll tell you what, your spiritual being, if it's starving, will cause chaos in every other area of your life. If your spiritual being is being fed really low quality food, very low standard food, it will really start to bleed into the other areas of your life. And so it becomes very difficult for you to have those high quality results, those amazing, gorgeous, high quality results that you deserve, that you're looking for. So the next thing that I would love for you to have a look at is, are you seeing the situation accurately? Are you being fully truthful with yourself about what your standards are and what level your standards are at? Like how many years have they needed an upgrade? How many years have your have those, say, five places in your life needed an upgrade? Do your relationships need an upgrade? Do you need better quality friendships? Do you need a better quality love and life partner? Are you even connected with that person anymore? Do you need a really great 
loving, caring relationship with your body? Do you need a really great, loving, caring relationship with your physical being? What about your career? Is this the career that you really want to be in anymore? Is it? You know, because if it's not, then it's time to go. It really, really is. And what about your home life? Are there some things at home that really, really need to be upgraded? Just like, let's get real about it. <laughs> like really, really real. And so super, super important that you get real about all of those things and really be truthful with yourself. Be brutally truthful. Be ruthlessly truthful with yourself. Because if you can be ruthlessly truthful with yourself, that just changes everything. It changes everything. And it becomes the litmus test that you use to be able to have this beautiful high standard, high quality life that you came here to have. And so those places and spaces that you notice that aren't high quality for you, notice that they're not, then what I'm going to recommend, I'm going to talk about it more in the next segment, what I'm going to recommend. But right now at the moment, what I would love for you to embrace is that you are protected. Like all of those places and spaces that aren't working out, like it might be all five. You're like, damn it, Jennifer. All five of those places are due for a huge upgrade in my standards. My standards are low and my results are crappy. And so super, super important to remind yourself that you are on a divine mission. You're on a divine mission, and you have as long as it takes to be able to make those upgrades. So say you're like 82 or whatever, and you manage to make the upgrades by the time you're 82 or 102 or 782, fine. It's fine. You know, like have a look at it and really look at yourself as though you are divinely protected because how would you act like what would be different if you gave yourself the energy of somebody who is protected like okay my finances are protected what choices would I make that are different with my career if I knew my finances were protected if I knew that me being loved was something that was protected if I knew that my divine spirit was something that was protected, I knew that my home life, like having a safe place to live, will always be something that's divinely protected. You know, like just have a look at it and start to live your life as though the universe is protecting you. And the only reason that you're not feeling this protection right now now is because your standards are kind of crappy. <laughs> You're like, wow, I'm really feeling the pinch right now. My standards need an upgrade. But if I have a look at it, I can really see how divinely protected I already am, how I haven't been homeless so far, how I haven't been really super broke <laughs> in a very long time. And, you know, the people that have been around me have loved me in the way that they could love me. And, you know, just have a look at that for yourself. I am heading into a break right now. For more on how to raise your standards, you're going to want to join me after the break on Inspired Choices Network. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this is Big Fat Lies. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific 
2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Hello, beautiful people. So we are talking about how to raise your standards in a way that's going to work for you moving forward. And why do we want to do that? Because your standards start to program the frequency of what the universe brings you. You guys get that, right? Your standards are programming the universe for what it brings you. And so in the previous segment, we were talking about how to balance your personal life, your career, your home, your relationship, your physical being, and your spiritual being by listening, listening, listen to what comes out of your mouth. How much are you complaining? (laughs) Might be a really good idea to stop complaining and start listening to what comes out of your mouth in your conversations with others. And then also what's swirling around in that beautiful brain of yours, what's swirling around in that beautiful body of yours, because it might be time to get unstuck, get unfrozen. So what was the key to get unfrozen in that movie? It was letting go, letting go. So tip number three is all about letting no tip number four actually is all about letting go so now that you've seen what's in the dusty corners now that you've really started to pay attention to it and started to act on what it is what you saw in those dusty corners and act as though you are divinely protected because you are You know, unless you don't want to be, unless you're making active choices in your life. And that's something that I do is I really help people get focused on the things that they need to be focused on. You do have a unique life mission. And so if you've never heard of it, you're like, wait a minute, never heard of it. You can go anywhere on any web browser and type in free human design chart and you will have something on there called your incarnation cross and so your incarnation cross is the frequencies that you're here to be on the planet you've got four frequencies that you're here to be and so it really is becomes sort of like oh this is the treasure map on how I can be me and have high quality results I can have high standards on what it is to be me And so it becomes a little confusing. Obviously, you're going to need a guide with that. That's one of my specialties is human design and also an offshoot called Gene Keys. And it really moves you towards the frequencies you are supposed to be and do. Another thing that you do have is a strategy and an authority on your chart. So the strategies will be all to do with your energy type. And your authority will be all to do with your circuit board. And so many of the, you know, sort of the standards that you set for yourself can be that you inherited them from someone else. You pick them up off of someone else. 
And so what worked for them for their strategy on how to live their life is definitely not going to work for you, especially if you are a different energy type than, you know, your mom or your dad. My mom is a projector. And so she has a completely different energy type than I do. And I am a manifesting generator. So if she tried to live her life as a manifesting generator, she would get crappy results, which probably she was trying to live her life as a manifesting generator. And I have definitely tried to live my life as a projector energy type because that was my mom. That's what I learned from her is her energy type. And she does have laser focus. She's amazing. And I don't have laser focus. I kind of like broadband my clients with all of the possibilities that are available and all of the love that I have for them. And so, you know, they just feel better. They're like, wow, I get better results because I feel better because I'm working with you, Jennifer. And so tip number four is all about letting it go. And so maybe what we need to do right now is let go of the previous. I'm just suggesting this to you. How about you crack the door and have a look at letting go of what your previous standards were? Like, what were they? You know, like maybe you thought that, you don't need anything. You're like, okay, well, I can only bring in money if I actually really need it, you know, or I'm only going to bring in the money that I need. (laughs) I don't know who I'm talking to, but that could be the thing. Or, you know, letting go of whatever the previous standards were. So, Like, what if you decided that you were going to go work for yourself and you were used to making like $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 a year in your previous job and, you know, your new position as a whatever it is that you're doing, you have the ability, the sky's the limit. You could make millions. You could make multi-millions with this, but your standards were, I'm used to making $50,000 a year. And so... Is it time to let that go? Career-wise, if you have a different career where the sky is the limit, I would love to suggest to you that there may be some standard upgrades that are available. What about your physical being? Like, are you sleeping properly? Are you eating properly? Are you even eating at the correct times for you? There's something in human design called PHS. And there's a very specific way that your body is supposed to be eating. You know, for myself, I need to be eating in a calm room. I need to be having maybe no conversations or very calm conversations. And for some reason, my family wants to bring up like politics, like a whole bunch of different things. And, you know, it doesn't work for me. My belly needs to be calm when I'm eating. And so I, it's, it's interesting. I've made a ton of different decisions about that. I've tried different things, but probably what's best for me is to have 90% of my meals by myself. And so I need to actually, like, I'm always using this stuff on me. I'm a little scientist. I am the mad scientist. I don't get serious about it. I love the results that I get for what I'm trying. And so for me, it's very easy for me to let go of the results that I'm getting that are less than stellar because it's just data. It's data, you guys. And so I would love for you to let go of the megaton of data that you have that you don't work, that there needs to be an upgrade You know, I mean, you know, there needs to be an upgrade because you're not comfortable. Get that. There needs to be an upgrade because you're not comfortable. And then sometimes there needs to be an upgrade because you are comfortable. So which one feels true for you? Is it more that you are uncomfortable that's causing you to need to upgrade your standards? Or is it that you are too comfortable And it's time to upgrade your standards. I would say 90% of the people that come to me need to upgrade their standards. And they are very uncomfortable about, very uncomfortable. So, you know, they might have something financially that's going on 
or they may have something physically that's going on or something in their home life, something in their career, their professional life. They don't just come to me because it's fun, which is too bad. I would like to make a demand of the universe that people come to me because it's fun to work with me because, you know, we get stuff done way faster together than you would ever get done by yourself unless you're another manifesting generator and then we can go freaking super. <laughs> Absolutely supersonic. That would be great. Great. So thinking about letting it go. So the antidote to you successfully letting it go is to actually work with a team to get the job done because there will be things that you cannot see that you have to let go that are in your unconscious, in your body, in your energetic field. And because it's unconscious, you can't see it. You're not designed to be able to see it. Even if it's somebody brings it to your attention, if they're not great about how they bring it to your attention, you might be like, mm, no, get lost with a capital F and a capital U. So think about that for yourself. Like how on earth are you supposed to see the unconscious parts of you? Well, your human design chart will show you those frequencies. And then also working with somebody who's highly intuitive, highly adept, and highly loving will be a really great way for you to start to let go of the things that don't work for you. And that's the thing. I would say 99% of the things that we're here to do on this planet that will help us upgrade have an energy of love in them. You just do. Or for me, like maybe for me, my incarnation cross is the right angle cross of the vessel of love. Like I'm here to just love people, love people into a better way of being, love people into like a wilder way of living their lives, love people into like sort of a more innocent and childlike way of living their life and really bring them to the fact that your life is actually supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be delightful. So if it's not, then it's time to reach out and really commit to changing that for yourself. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but it, the last calendar year, like from March to March, I committed to having a better relationship with my body to being in really freaking excellent health, uh, to letting go of like all of the fight, fr fight, flight, freeze in my body. And there was tons of freeze in my body. And I did it. I lost, uh, so far, I've lost 55 pounds, uh, maybe plus. I haven't been on the scale. Um, I just have a way better way of being with my body now. And so it took a year. I had to commit to a year of me making those frequency changes. I worked with some really, really excellent coaches. I worked with a really, really excellent body worker. And, you know, super important that I did that. But I gave myself a year, you guys. And so that's what I'm recommending to you. I have more to share after the break. We are heading into another break. And so we're talking about right now how to have high standards in every area of your life so that you can receive higher quality results, higher quality relationships, higher quality everything. Wouldn't, doesn't that sound great? I want that for you. So my name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. We are in the Inspired Choices Network, and this is Big Fat Lies. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. 
to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, you guys. So before we go, I have one more tip that I want to share with you, but I also want to remind you that I am live almost every single Friday and the Fridays that I am not live are holidays. And the show that's coming up next week is called How to Be Your Own Personal Jesus of Miracles. And I'm wondering, is it miracle season for you or just for Jesus and his crew? And I'm here to say that you are just as capable of creating miracles as Jesus was back in his day. And I'm going to share my red hot miracle manifesting tips on our Easter edition of the Big Fat Lies show. Why? Because I see my clients and friends putting some guru or another ahead of their own miracle manifesting magic. And it makes me a little nuts watching them. So how can you trust your intuition and manifest miracles beyond rock star parking spots? I'm so excited to share at least five ways to be your own personal Jesus. And so that's why you're going to want to listen to the Easter version of the show. <laughs> super, super great. I am going to have so much fun showing you how to be your own personal Jesus. And so my final, my final tip is that Raise your standards. You really do have to take charge of the situation. So your standards don't get to tell you whether or not to raise them. Your career doesn't get to tell you whether or not it's good for you. Your body doesn't get to tell you. Well, it does, and it will tell you whether or not you need to raise your standards. Your relationships will probably tell you whether or not you need to raise your standards and your spiritual being I wonder like does it tell you or is it just sort of an emptiness in your core when you don't take care of your spiritual being and so right now I'm going to give you permission to take charge of raising your standards like Let's do an audit. <laughs> you know me, I love writing lists. I basically am, you know, real estate and finance royalty. Like I love data. You know, I'm a Virgo. I love the data. And, you know, I am on the Virgo Libra cusp. So I love the data. I know what to do with it, and I know how to love you into a new way of being with the data. So thinking of your career, thinking of what you are doing in your life for business, how much of an upgrade does it need? So let's, let's just ask a question. So if 10 out of 10 was like, oh, my God, the thing that I'm doing for work is orgasmic it makes me so excited I freaking love it and zero out of ten is if I go into work I might actually just step out in front of a bus because I'm just like no I don't want to do my work anymore so where are you wherever you're listening in the chat zero or one out of ten up to ten out of ten let me know where you are with your career and then let me know, where are you with your home life? Now, I know that home life's pretty broad, but that's also, you know, like your home, where you are living and how you are living at home. Think about that. 10 out of 10 is, oh, my freaking God, I love where I live. I love it. I love my home life. I love everything about my home life. Like, I can't wait to get home. <laughs> that's a 10 
out of 10 and a one out of 10 is like massively needs improvement, you know, just massively and be real about it. Be real about it. Wherever you are, type that into the chat. And then your relationships, your relationships. So 10 out of 10 is like, oh my God, I have the best friends in the whole world and my primary love and life partner is one of them. <laughs> I'm just like surrounded by super best friends. Everywhere I go, even when I go to bed at night, I sleep with my super best friend. And one out of 10 is all of y'all need massive improvements. <laughs> My standards suck in relationships. Like, just be real about it. Be real about it. And then thinking about your physical being, your physical being, your beautiful body, or your not so beautiful body, however you feel about your body. Like, 10 out of 10 is, oh my God, I fucking love my body. <laughs> She's so great. She's so strong. She's so flexible. She's so resilient. I love putting clothes on her. I love taking clothes off her. She's just so great. I freaking love my body. And one out of 10 or zero out of 10 is I pretty much detest my physical form. How are you feeling about your body? Let's get real. Let's get real. And then your spiritual being, your spiritual being. So how do you feel or how do you sense your spiritual being? If you're like, oh my God, she's so great. She's so conscious. She's just like bringing me all of these amazing things from the universe. I just love nourishing my spiritual being. It's so exciting. I can't wait to feed her something cool. Can't wait to take her to another class. I can't wait to give her a new experience. And one out of 10 or zero out of 10 is like spiritual being. <laughs> WTF, I don't know what that is. I've never had a conversation with my spiritual being. <laughs> awesome. So now you have your data. Now you have your data, you guys. So for me, if it's not an eight, nine, 10 out of 10, I don't do it. So, you know, like thinking of experiences, thinking about relationships, thinking about where I want to take my spiritual being or my physical being, or, you know, things that I would like to buy for my house or something like that. If it's not an eight, a nine, or a 10 out of 10, it is in the triage, like that, get this fixed. Let's get this fixed now. And so the best way to do that is to set an intention. Set an intention. Have the purest intentions in mind. The most high quality intentions for yourself. Like the difference between a six and a ten. You can even ask yourself, who do I need to work with? Where do I need to go to get this six to a ten? Get this five to a ten? Get this eight to a ten? So if it's working with me, if it's talking to me, then please reach out. You know where to get me at Jennifer Kramer Lewis on any platform you're on. I look forward to you showing up next week for how to be your own personal guru. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully 
by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.